This uh, next story stays a novel and never becomes the news. Um, Colonel David Hunt is on the phone. He spent almost 30 years fighting our nation's wars from Vietnam to Bosnia. He has an extensive operational experience in special operations, counterterrorism, intelligence operations. You get the picture. He's He knows his stuff. Uh, he's been a commentator with Fox News for more than 16 years. He's a New York Times bestselling author. And with R.J. Pinero, he has written a book called Without Mercy. And... Robin, you remember we were in uh, New York? We went down to Battery Park. We kind of just sat there and looked at the water. Yes. Well, it wouldn't be there if, this, if the scenario in this book happens. And we don't want to ever see that. Um, this is a... Uh, you know the word thriller is used for some novels? This this one gets a capital... Every letter, capital. This is a, this is a thriller novel. It's called Without Mercy, if I forgot to tell you the name of the book. Uh, Colonel David Hunt, good morning, sir. How are you? Hi, good morning, guys. Thanks. Hi, how are you? Where are you? Where are we calling? We're calling for in uh, Scarborough, Maine. Or we're in the throes of a snowmageddon. Oh, that's right. Wow. You, you got snow today. Well, we're in Florida. Yeah. If you if you're interested. Yeah, yeah, you are. You're in a beautiful spot, Oscala. But uh, there's no hopefully there's no snow there. Um, <laughs> no, it's just, it's just March a March storm. It's being hyped. <laughs> yeah, I, it's never as bad as it sounds. <laughs> it's oh, it's okay. It's just snow. We we had a story years ago about uh, the Pentagon wanting novelists to uh, submit some scenario yeah. some scenarios. This scenario that you've written in the book, I mean, hopefully they're they're considering the fact that this could happen so that it never does happen. Yeah, thanks. I mean, we 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 can we can get this book at uh, withoutmercy dot org. We've got a website now, and it takes you right to the Amazon or any of the places like Barnes and Noble to sell it. And we also got a a text number is 6566. You type in the word mercy or, and but actually Facebook page do it at without mercy. The idea of the book is that uh, Pakistan, who has nukes and is a duplicitous country at best, and has it and it has been assisting uh, Taliban and ISIS in real time. Uh, ISIS pays money and gets uh, three nukes from Pakistan and blows one up at Bagram Air Base. Mm-hmm. And then be- before they had put a uh, uh, nuke up, they had sent two heading west in tankers. And the, the story is about what, what, how the world, and specifically the U.S., uh, would react to that, um, both you know, from a reaction to Pakistan to how do you stop a very fast-moving, very confident terrorist organization uh, that has that got the first strike in. And it, it turns out he gets two swings at us, and the story evolves around um, a president who's a combat veteran of Silver Star Winner Air Force pilot, A-10, who also happens to be a woman, uh, and how she has to cut through the bureaucracy that is the U.S. government mm-hmm. to get something that's, something that's equally fast and equally competent quickly, which is the issue, to get this other nuke stopped. Um, it's it's an apocalyptic thriller, as you said, thank you, and... So centered on terrorism, but it, we we're trying to do is show the real real world reaction. We've got very serious ca- um, ca- characters drawn from my life, people I've known. Yeah. R.J. Panero is, is a great writer. He, he's written sixteen books, international bestseller. Um, and between the two of us, we've written what we think is the best one of its kind out there. Um, so we're really proud of the book. It's fast paced. Does it? Well, you, page turner and it had to be because it's a tough tough subject to write about yeah so we try to keep the reader between pakistan and the u.s and mexico when back into the u.s and how this fight would uh, unfold and how you'd have to get at it yeah can you, i i wouldn't even want to imagine what you've written in the book to actually have happen uh, and then and then if you ever ever consider let's say for example we were able to defeat isis then you have north no. korea you have so many other factions in this world that I don't know. I don't know how you guys do what you do to keep us all safe, but we thank you for what you have done. Yeah, of course. But the, 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 the issue is, from a uh, terrorism war standpoint, we've been doing this for now 16 years in Afghanistan, is we've got to do absolutely more than just kill terrorists. I mean, we've done that. We know how to kill terrorists. We're gonna, and we'll, get, we'll wipe out ISIS. 
but you're still going to have unstable countries like Iraq and Syria, Yemen and Libya that you have to get stable and you also have to get after 60 million refugees, 25 million of them are kids. I mean, it's, so it's not just killing them. Of course we have to kill them, keep killing them, but there has to be other, a bigger, a bigger strategy to get to stop because it, otherwise, 16 years from now, we're going to be still talking about absolutely, yeah, year war, 32 year old. Oh, I know. Years. And 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 I don't know. So, I don't want to make be political on on anybody. But if if we don't do something about vetting people, somebody will put a bomb in Battery Park, and there will be Lower Manhattan is going to be a piece of dust. So yeah, the vetting we address what we we address is the how easy it is to get things through the borders, right. Uh, and, and how if one country, a nation state like Pakistan, decides to help ISIS, you know, how how hard that is, and how difficult it is for the U.S. government, as big as it is, to move fast, even, so if we've got a nuke on Bagram, we've got one in Lower Manhattan, now we've got, the U.S. would shut down all the roads, all the airports, all the trains, and in three days, you have no food left on the, in the supermarkets and no gas, no, so you, you your country is shut down. And so we, the president, with his team that she forms, uses presidential authority and some and this uh, contractor team, former special forces guys led by a guy named Hunter Stock, and to, to get at and get at these this last nuke, and that's what the chase is about. And yeah, the lessons yeah. are the bureaucracy is too big to move, and the a president has to make special arrangements to get at this. Like to get at ISIS. And you do have that human element in there. Uh, maybe there might be a little hint of romance. Ah, right, yeah. There's a character, of a, uh, two characters. One is a, a very qualified, very tough FBI agent with uh, three combat tours herself named uh, Cruz. And she met up with a former Delta Force sniper named Ryan Hunt. Uh, and they had met in a, actually a sniper school. And they meet up again five years later because of this incident. And Cruz is a major part of this. And her character is drawn straight from a real FBI agent with these qualifications, you know, L.A. SWAT, combat veteran, very, very, very capable. And Ryan Hunt uh, is drawn, he's, one of my son's name is Ryan Hunt, but his character is drawn straight from a Delta Force sniper that I know. Gosh. But he, that's the, the, and the spies are people that I know. The, the spy named Gorman in the book is drawn from a guy named Bill Murray, who's got 40 years as a, as a spy. Wow. So that, 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 that's why we think the book is so good and so fast-paced. Well, and, and, and if, it, and if yeah. I could just say this, one of the reasons it's so good is because of the background of both of you. Uh, there's no way that uh, uh, a novelist who doesn't have your background could write this story. This, this clearly comes from experience... Um, and and I th and I think it's a wake up call in a way. Even though it's entertainment, it's still a wake up call. And w to go get it, it's called Without Mercy. Um, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Give it's us Without Mercy dot org. Okay. You can pick it up there, or you can text six five six six. Type in the word Mercy. It'll take you to buy it. Or uh, Facebook Without Mercy. And I'm doing Bill O'Reilly tonight, and we're going to do Syria. And you know that what's going on with that fight, and do the book again. But yeah, so I'll do. I think I'm on a Riley by eight twenty tonight. And, and before nice. we, say, and we before we say goodbye, Colonel, let me give away the copy that you sent to us. So call me if you want the book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nice. I, I, I got it right here. Tell, tell me you want it. It'll be waiting for you. But we have one. I can only give one. The rest of us have to go buy it. Without Mercy is the book. Withoutmercy.org is the website. Colonel David Hunt, uh, what an honor to have you on our show, sir. Anytime. Thanks for calling. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, let, me, let me give the book. Oh, you know what? We'll give away the book in the break, all right? Okay. We will take a break, and we'll be right back. Cool high 58 to 64. Thursday, mostly sunny highs in the low to mid-60s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. TikTok. The days fly by and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though. With a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner & Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner & Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the 
largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Robson, Scribner & Stewart. They're there for you today. Again, that number is 694-4184. Time is of the essence. 